Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third, with the Second Coming Watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world. First up today, Russia threatens to carry out preemptive missile defense strike. According to the Associated Press, Russia's top military officer has threatened to carry out a preemptive strike on U.S.-led NATO missile defense facilities in Eastern Europe if Washington goes ahead with its controversial plan to build a missile shield. President Medvedev said last year that Russia will retaliate militarily if it does not reach an agreement with the United States and NATO on the missile defense system. Chief of General Staff Nikolay Makarov went even further on Thursday saying a decision to use destructive force preemptively will be taken if the situation worsens. Uh, Secondly, today, a Christian leader warns that restraint is ending in Nigeria. According to the Associated Press, a top Christian leader in Nigeria warned that worshippers Christians would abandon their restraint if a campaign of suicide car bombings and gun assaults by a radical Islamist sect doesn't stop immediately. The comments by Ayo Orisha Jafor, the president of an umbrella Christian group known as the Christian Association of Nigeria, Uh, come as attacks by the sect known as Boko Haram grow in size and complexity. Seeking, or rather speaking, to journalists in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, Orisa Jafor said his comments should be taken as a final call to the government to take action. He said the church leadership has hitherto put great restraint on the restive and uh, aggrieved millions of Nigerians, but can no longer guarantee such cooperation if this trend of terror is not halted immediately. Thirdly today, Saudi Arabia warns Iran over Gulf Islands and Bahrain. According to Reuters, Saudi Arabia reiterated that it would not tolerate threats to the Gulf Arab states' sovereignty. This was the latest warning to Iran after President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's visit to an island claimed by both Tehran and the United Arab Emirates. The warning, the third in as many weeks, by a member of the Six Nation Gulf Cooperation Council, comes amid increased nervousness in the region over Iran. Shiite led unrest is resurgent in Bahrain a year after the ruling Al Khalifa family brought in Saudi and United Arab Emirates troops to help suppress an uprising seen by Sunni Muslim Gulf rulers as sectarian in nature and driven by Shiite giant 
Iran. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Nayef said, Any harm that comes across any of our countries is harm that touches us all. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy related news at secondcomingherald.com. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready, get ready today by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, asking him to come into your heart and to save you. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. May I lovingly encourage you to put your trust and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust his shed blood on the cross for your sins. And uh, believe in your heart that he died for you, was buried, and rose again. Pray and ask him to save you. For the Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And he will save you today. And then you'll be ready for his second coming. God bless you.